Hello, 4 H folks. This is Luke Willoughby, and I'm proud to say I'm a former 4 H'er from DeKalb County, Tennessee, and currently I'm an attorney here in downtown Nashville, where I practice probate law, criminal defense, and personal injury law. If you were to ask me, well, what has 4 H done for you? I could talk for days. However, whether it was learning the importance of hard work in the Sheep Project or learning how to be a part of a team with the Tennessee Forge Performing Arts Troupe, it was the 4-H public speaking project that really brought it home for me. Every year I would write a speech starting in fifth grade till I was a senior in high school. And it would always start with the same thing. Write on note cards, make drafts, go to the county contest, hopefully you win there then go to, at, at one point in time, the sub-district contest, the district contest, the region contest, and hopefully when you're in high school, you make it to Tennessee 4-H Congress. When I was in fifth grade, I lost my first speech contest in the sub-district. I had a speech about why it's important to have a good family. And it did well in the county, uh, but it obviously didn't do well enough when we got to the sub-district contest because I lost the four-tenths of a point uh, to a kid out of Putnam County and didn't get to advance, thanks to John Basinger. I'm still kind of bitter about it, I guess. But I learned a lot from it. I remember leaving the Cannon County Church of Christ where we had the event, um, telling my grandfather, it must have been rigged. How did I not win? Um, those people were biased. They should have had better judges. And he quoted Walter Cronkite and said, Luke, that's just the way it is. If you want to be better at something, instead of claiming that it's rigged, you got to work harder. And that's what I did. And I would, so the next year I set a plan. I wrote my speech earlier. I practiced it more and was fortunate enough to win that next year at the Cumberland District Contest. Um, but it was the passion that the 4 H public speaking project gave me at the early age of fifth and sixth grade that would carry over into high school where I would have to have more defeats um, in order to be victorious my senior year um, to go out on top. But it was because of 4-H that I also got a college scholarship. And I was able to go to Carson Newman College on, believe it or not, a public speaking scholarship, thanks to 4-H. And we were able to win, being a part of a team, we won the national championship in speech and debate three of the four years I was there. Today, I take those same public speaking skills of importance of eye contact and having a, a good, strong voice and good content, but also those skills of having to learn and behave how you are when you're successful, but also able to handle yourself when you lose. The importance of having a plan and even the lessons in a 4-H record book of having to put size and scope of everyone to get paid, I have to put that in the bill of the, all the services that I provided. So I just want to say big thank you to all the 4-H agents out there. You're grinding during this difficult time where we can't be together. I want to say thank you all so very much, and God bless each and every one of you.